हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज यू कैन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लाइक अ पर्टिकुलर वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट फिफ्टीन अमेजिंग नॉक्चुनल एनिमल्स ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट इज द एशियाटिक लायन और पर्जियन लायन प्राइमरली नॉक्चुनल इट इज वन ऑफ द फाइव स्पीशीज ऑफ बिग कैट्स फाउंड इन इंडिया Today it is found in the Gir National Park of Gujarat but nowhere else in the whole world. The Gir National Park in total has 674 Asiatic lions and 300 leopards. Did you know that once in the 20th century only a dozen Asiatic lions were left in the wild? Luckily the population in the park is increasing. The population is increasing but still they are at the risk of extinction due to frequent earthquakes floods and cyclones if you want to watch them roar you should visit the junagadh zoo in gujarat second is the indian leopard indian leopard is one of the most powerful swimmer and tree climber of india if you want to watch them climb the tree tops you should visit the nandan kanan zoo in odisha It is famous for its open top leopard enclosure which is its only kind in the whole country. This elusive big cat is not only a versatile and opportunistic hunter but also attacks on humans and street dogs. Third is the Indian sloth bear. The Indian sloth bear is the most widespread species of bear in India. Marked as vulnerable, they are the most nocturnal species of bear in india also called as the labiated bear they feed on fruits ants and termites if you want to watch them woof at you you should visit the san diego zoo in usa if you want to watch them roam freely you should visit the banergata zoo safari the safari here is one of the oldest sloth bear safari in india fourth is the indian wolf Indian wolves are nocturnal species and a variant of the grey wolf found in the Indian subcontinent. The wolf is similar to other known species of wolf like the European wolf in structure but smaller in size. They hunt from dusk to dawn on animals like antelopes. If you want to watch them howl, you should visit the Mysore Zoo. Fifth is the Indian striped hyena. Indian striped hyena is the largest striped hyena species of the true hyenas. It is primarily a scavenger like other species and one of the most popular nocturnal animal of India. The striped hyenas are not a territorial animal and are always found roaming around when it's total darkness. It feeds mainly on carcasses. If you want to watch them laugh You should visit the Arigner Anna Zoological Park or Vandalur Zoo in Chennai. Sixth is the Hedgie Hog. The Indian Hedgie Hog is one of the three species of Hedgie Hog found in India. Madras Hedgie Hog and Indian Long-eared Hedgie Hog being the other two. Hedgie Hogs are fully nocturnal animals and a small species of mammal native to the states of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. If you want to watch them squeak you should visit the indoor zoo. Seventh is the Indian honey badger or rattle also known as bijju in hindi they are venomless because of their thick skin According to the Guinness Book of World Records honey badger is the most fearless of all animals in the animal kingdom so an animal thinks twice before it hunts the honey badger If you want to watch them growl you should visit the Nandan Kanan Zoo Nanan Kanan Zoo is also the first zoo in the whole world to breed the Indian rattles or honey badgers in captivity. Eight are the civets. Civets are a vibrant species found in most parts of India. Nine species of civets are found in India, out of which the Malabar civet is the rarest and the common palm civet is the most common. Civet species are nocturnal. primarily terrestrial and feed on rats birds and frogs you can find different species of civets in different zoos like the malabar civet can be found in tiruvannapuram zoo 
and the Indian large spotted civet could be found in the Taiping Zoo. Ninth are the Indian Karakals. It occurs in western India around Sariska and Ranthambor Tiger Reserve. This species is marked as critically endangered and its African brother, the African Karakal, is marked as least concern. It's the second big cat in India to go extinct after the Asiatic cheetah. Their population in the wild is decreasing due to the hunting for the skin. They also make popular pets. Less than 50 Indian Karakals are left in the wild, though no conservation action is taken. But don't be disappointed, you can visit the African cousin in captivity. You can visit the Berlin Zoo to watch its African relative. If you want to watch the African Karakals in India, you should visit the Junagar Zoo. Tenth is the Indian Pangolin. Also known as the scaly anteater, they are both the world's most trafficked mammal and the only mammal fully covered with scales. Indian pangolin is a solitary nocturnal mammal native to the Indian subcontinent and mostly feeds on ants and termites. They can curl up into a ball when they see their predators like lions, tigers and leopards. Did you know? The Nandan Kanan Zoo in Odisha is currently the only Indian pangolin conservation breeding center in the whole world. Currently, it houses a total of 26 pangolins out of which one of them is a baby. If you want to know more about these animals, you can watch one of my videos. 7th is the Bengal Slow Loris. Bengal Slow Loris is a arboreal primate species native to the Indian subcontinent and it is a nocturnal animal. The slow loris found in India is the largest species of slow loris and is found in the protected areas of Northeast India. This animal's population in the wild is decreasing because these animals are popular pets. They have poisonous glands. If you want to watch them chatter, you should visit the Assam State Zoo in Assam. Managing them in captivity is not an easy job because they can have depression. It is due to the small area in a zoo, but still, the Assam State Zoo has managed to house 9 of them as of 2018. Twelfth is the Fishing Cat. Fishing Cat is a medium-sized species of wild cat found in the swamps and mangroves of West Bengal. The Fishing Cat is also the state animal of West Bengal, primarily found in the Terai of Assam in India and Nepal and is a nocturnal wild animal. If you want to watch them meow, you should visit the Alipur Zoo in Kolkata. This zoo currently houses 12 of them, out of which only 3 can be publicly viewed. The rest 9 of them are kept for captive breeding. 13th is the Red Panda. Did you know that it lives in the eastern Himalayas and 97% of its diet consists of bamboo? They are vegetarian carnivores. Wait, what? Yes, it's true. That is because the word carnivore doesn't necessarily imply a meat eater but can refer to their biological order. As they are descended from carnivorous ancestors but rarely eat anything more than bamboo and a few insects, they are classed as vegetarian carnivores. Did you know the icon of Mozilla Firefox is actually a red panda but not a fox. The company has also adopted some red pandas. If you want to watch them tweet, you should visit the Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park in West Bengal. This area is the highest altitude zoo in India. 14th is the Indian Mouse Deer. It is solitary, nocturnal and native to the Indian subcontinent. Now it is marked as least concern in the IUCN red list, but their population in the wild is decreasing due to hunting. It is not only the smallest species of deer in India, but also the smallest species of hooved animals in the whole world. If you want to hear a drumming sound from their hooves, you should visit the Nehru Zoological Park in Hyderabad. 
After seven years of conservation breeding of the elusive species at the dedicated facility on the premises of Nehru Zoological Park, the captive mouse deer population increased from 6 to about 232 till March 2019. Meanwhile, the first batch of eight individuals was released into the wild on July 17, 2018. This was the first ever Indian mouse deer released in the wild. Fifteenth is the elusive and nocturnal Indian clouded leopard. An arboreal animal, it has the longest canine teeth of any living feline. It is also a powerful swimmer. Matters vulnerable, today only 10,000 exist in the wild. If you want to watch them purr, you should visit the Sepajala Zoological Park in Tripura. Since 2011, it has been renamed as Cloudal Leopard National Park. It is currently one of the six zoos in India to house the Cloudal Leopard and is the only Indian Cloudal Leopard Conservation Breeding Center in the whole world. As of 2018, this zoo has successfully bred 39 clouded leopards. Today, the zoo houses 10 of them. The rest of them have been given in animal exchange programs to different zoos across India. Thank you for watching. See you soon.